or for the Friday night, I'm probably going to be heading over to Fold um, to go and see DVS1 and Renee Wise playing. I'm really looking forward to it. Um, I've heard a lot of good things about Renee Wise. Um, I actually missed them playing. No, what else? Yeah, I actually missed them playing it in Berlin. I think the weekend that I went, I think they played. Or I think he played them. Um, sorry weekend before or something like that i forgot what it was and the reviews that i saw online especially from the burger guy and flipping subreddit were absolutely phenomenal so i'm looking forward to that dvs1 i saw recently in e1 but i want to see him again in fold because i think fold that venue it's going to be amazing to see dvs1 there so i'm really looking forward to that let me just get it up actually see if i can get up in here trans i think it's transmissions right and it's at fold so i'm really looking forward to seeing dvs1 play on that system over there because it's going to be absolutely wild he's going to absolutely tear the roof off of that place and i can't wait to come see it um and obviously i think as well because of his um links to berlin and because of just him being a legend overall i think there's going to be a lot of real ravers out as well so i think they're going to make the rave too because the thing about london which is great is that we have some of the best sort of lineups we have some good clubs but the real good thing about london and the real bad thing about london is like a two-sided thing is that for the most part um if there's not a good crowd at your party it's not going to go down well and if there is a good crowd at your party it doesn't matter about the sound system how crappy the venue is your party's going to go off so the crowds really do um you know dictate a lot of your kind of fun and because we don't have door picking we don't really have a you know we don't really have a door picking policy or kind of a thing that we do in the uk some promoters obviously do it but for the most part it's kind of like if you've got money you always get in so it kind of makes it difficult to kind of curate the space because that's where a lot of other places have the opportunity to do that obviously you know no better example than berlin they can actually curate their space and be a little bit more tight and strict about it because all they need to do is basically make sure whoops to get off the screen sorry all they need to do is is basically make sure that they're door picking properly at the door and everything kind of works out pretty fine but obviously here in london we don't really on the uk in general we don't really have that luxury so so people kind of have to just make do what they have and usually it's not the greatest so i'm hoping and i'm thinking that devious one playing in such a small venue considering where he usually plays right because that guy's a pretty big time dj and um, for him to play at a venue that's like a 500 capacity i think fold is or 750 around that mark is going to be banging it's going to be really good and of course like i said before I've, I've heard a lot of good things about renee wise so i'm really really curious to see how he's going to play too actually i might actually pull up a quick little clip on youtube and see um what i'm kind of expecting to hear when i go down there devious one i kind of know what i'm going to hear in terms of technical proficiency in terms of groove in terms of he, he does this really good thing where he's able to build his setup to a massive crescendo and he just rides it all the way until the end which is always great so i'm really looking forward to that but let me quickly have a little um little look see to see what renee wise's set will be like because i'll be curious to see what i'm kind of um be in store for what we do eventually go see him over there at the old fold happening soon so this is obviously him uh he put okay he did a set at hall what's this um one year ago celebrating 100 years of columbia oh i i've got that um mixtape sorry that album it's like a hundred tracks dip or something it was pretty good it came out last year there's some pretty big bangers on that actually to be honest um so this is him playing at hall i'm gonna play it now and just kind of skip through and see if there's some bits on here that will be of you know of some sort of interest in terms of hearing what he's gonna sound like <laughs> one of my favorite techniques in DJing um the channel down channel up thing especially when you're mid mix it adds such a it adds such a great bit of layer layering sorry a little bit of oomph um dynamism to the tracks you're playing and just makes you sound so sick honestly it does it's such a good it's such a tiny little thing but it makes such a big difference especially when you're playing techno tracks and stuff man it really really does work let's play it here from here and see it here we go Mm. 
Obviously, you know, I'm looking forward to it. So, yeah, transmission is happening later on tonight. So, I'm really looking forward to that. Cannot wait for that to kick off. So, really, really looking forward to that. As you can see, um, it sold pretty well. All, all the tiers have currently sold out. They're currently on their fourth release. So, I'm assuming by the night's end, probably this will be completely sold. And there will be tickets available on the door. But Fold is pretty strict, though. I've, been at, I've, been, I've seen some nights at Fold where they say there's no more tickets at the door. Whatever they sold online is what they sold online. So, they get a bit strict with that sort of stuff. So, obviously, it shows that there's a big demand for these sort of nights but it's going to be banging man devious one already wise all night come on man it's going to be absolutely flames cannot cannot wait for it cannot cannot wait for it so i'm really looking forward to going to that 